In this video, I am going to show you how you can blur a portion of your screen in OBS Studio. I am using OBS version 29, so please make sure you are on the same version. If you don't know, then go to help and in the about section and it should tell you what OBS version you have. If you have any other version, then go again to help and check for updates and it is going to check for any latest version and download. Okay. Now, I'll be using a plugin for this demo to show you how to blur it because this functionality is not natively available in OBS. The plugin I'm going to use is this Finite Singularity OBS Composite Blur. I'll share the link to this GitHub repo and plugin in video's description. So once you are on this website, scroll down and then this is what I'm going to use. Right click on it and save link as and it will save this zip file on your local operating system. Right click on it and then unzip all and then simply double click and next, next, next. It will install the OBS um, composite blur plugin on your local operating system. When you will be installing, it will ask you for directory where to install. Simply select where your OBS Studio is already installed, which is normally C program files OBS Studio. And then within that, there should be a plugin directory. Go into that, and then there will be a 64 bit directory. Install it in that 64 bit directory because most of the laptops or operating systems are 64 bit these days. Similar instruction for other operating systems like Ubuntu or Mac OS. All you need to do is, is to um, unzip this plugin in that directory where OB Studio is installed. Once that's done, if your OB Studio was running while you were downloading it, stop it and restart it. But the best practice is to not to run while you're installing this plugin. Okay, now go back to your OB Studio, then click on plus sign, create a new scene such as blur test. Click OK and then in the sources click on plus. I'll simply select maybe display capture this time and then give it a name. Let me also make it a bit smaller so that you can see what I'm doing. Where is my transform window? Give me a sec. I'll just change my preview window so that you could see what I'm doing. Okay, so you can see that I am just giving it a bit of a name. Display capture, so I'll just call, call it blur capture here. And just click OK. This is the screen, screen I'm going to capture. Now, again, click here and then click on copy from the menu which has appeared. And then again, click in the same section, sources section, paste reference, then click on plus, click on group, give it any name. I'm going to call it blur group. Click OK. Now, again, select the newly created blur capture reference, drag it and drop it on the group. Now, right click on the group again, and then click on filters click on plus and you will see that this composite blur is a plugin we just installed. Click here and then just give it any name and this is asking me to change anything. I'm going to go with the default. Click on close. Now grab it from the bottom right and then you 